negative reviews on Amazon can have a significant impact on your business, leading to lower sales, lower rankings, and damage to your brand reputation. However, there are ways to mitigate this by removing negative reviews in a TOS compliant way. In this video, we will guide you step by step how to remove negative reviews on Amazon, covering the central aspects including Amazon policies, effective communications with customers, and the use of Amazon's own review management tools. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. And if you are interested in content such as this one, where we talk about the latest Amazon FBA news, tips, and hacks, I invite you to subscribe. Okay, there are really two main methods for removing Amazon negative reviews. One is using the brand analytics tool afforded to you. For this, you need to be brand registered. The second method is to use the Amazon community review guidelines to your advantage. Just like Amazon terms of service, Amazon shoppers also need to conform with their own TOS whenever they post content. And we will deep dive into this in the later parts of the video. Okay, so let's go through number one. Uh, let's look into uh, how we could potentially remove negative reviews and that is to use the brand analytic customer review console. To get to the console, what you need to do is uh, on your dashboard, go to, um, on the nav bar, go to the brands side nav and then go to customer reviews. On the console here, you are going to filter out for negative customer reviews that are three stars and less. And remember this um, particular module only cover for the last 112 days worth of reviews. So in here, you're gonna go to the star ratings, uh, click on three, two, and one, and these are negative reviews. You can then uh, click on contact customers. And I personally like to use the courtesy refund this is basically show the customer that you are deeply serious about making it right keep in mind though the message is purely templated by amazon you cannot change a word of this message to the customers and then before you click send right keep in mind on the notes in the bottom here is that um, you know even with a courtesy refund there is no expectation whatsoever for the customers to change their review so i've been doing this for a, a bit um, around little under a year. And uh, for me, uh, around 15% of the customers I sent this to did change their reviews, which is really not bad considering I only really need like five minutes a week for me to really go through the reviews and send these uh, emails out. For this method, you really need to have faith and hope that the customer on the other side would reciprocate. Okay, so let's dive into method number two, and that is reporting negative reviews that are not compliant against the community guidelines. Okay, so what's the community guideline? So every time, let's just go to a, a sample listing right here. Um, if you actually uh, go to the reviews, right? If you actually click on the report button here, it would pop up another screen detailing the community review guidelines. And to see the specific guidelines, you're gonna click on this particular uh, link right here. Uh, I have it like on full screen on display. So this is the community guidelines, right? So what's the community guidelines? Basically is community guideline is basically the content guidelines that Amazon shoppers need to adhere to, to make sure that their content are allowed to be posted. And that includes reviews. Here in this particular guideline, you can see the table of content and you could see specifically what's not allowed to be posted as content on the Amazon website. So basically your job here is to weed through all the negative reviews in your Amazon listing and report the negative reviews that are against the community guidelines here. I won't go over every single point on this list here but I will go over the ones that I've seen before and are much more common. Okay, so the three that I found that are really common is one, so that would be the seller order and the shipping feedback. Two, comments about the pricing or the availability of the product. And uh, number three that I see uh, quite common is actually profanity and harassment. These three particular um, points in the community guidelines are the things that I would search for first in the list of negative reviews for your product. Okay, so let's like talk about the first point, which is seller order shipping feedback. Okay, so basically for any reviews that talks about shipping, prepping, or packaging of the order is deemed to be against 
the community guidelines uh, because according to Amazon, these are more about the purchasing experience than on the actual product itself. And for any feedback such as these, there's also the seller feedback where the Amazon sellers would also get. So for any reviews that are on you know the speed of shipping or you know on the prepping or the availability of product that it goes on the actual product review, you can ask Amazon to remove those. Uh, secondly, it would be uh, any comments on the review on the pricing, right? So for example, comments about the pricing such as, you know, the price was $5 cheaper now than it was when I purchased. Those type of reviews are not allowed. As Amazon sellers, you know, sometimes you will increase the price and you will get instances of this type of negative reviews and you could report those to Amazon. So let's just go through what is allowed and not allowed in this particular guideline. So it's okay to comment on price if it's related to product's value. So if you tie the price to product value, that is allowed. For example, um, for only $29, uh, this blender is really great. Uh, you know, pricing commented related to someone's individual experience aren't allowed. For example, found this here for $5 less than at my local store. So, or it could be reversed. I found this uh, $5 much more expensive than my local store you could also report that as well. These comments aren't allowed because they aren't relevant for all customers. So anything that is very individualized on pricing, that is not allowed. And uh, number three uh, would be uh, anything that has profanity or harassment type of language in it. And uh, in situations where you get like profanity laced reviews, this is something you could definitely report. So they have a specific guideline written that it you know, anything that is uh, profanity related, you know, obscenity, name calling, harassment or threats, attack on people, attack on a seller, uh, or anything libel, inflammatory, drowning out others' opinion, that's something that you could also report as well to be removed. Okay, so how do I report these violations? And uh, to show you how to report these violations, that's basically the last point of the table of contents for the community guidelines. So you guys actually click on that, it will tell you exactly how to do it. So there's really like two ways to do it. So the first way is to click on the report abuse link near the content we want to report. So that's basically on our listing. That basically would be uh, this report right here and you click on submit to report. Uh, but my, in my opinion, uh, when I do this, nothing really happens. So what I like to do is go to like the second route, basically email community dash for dash um, help at amazon.com so you're going to send an email to amazon and then you're going to offer these information so i would actually go a step further i actually give them the exact review uh, url and also what specific um, guidelines on uh, the community guidelines that it violated so to see how i do this i actually would use a uh, helium 10 uh, what i like to use is their review insight function so i do have helium 10 i'll give you an example right here so this listing here, if I actually go to the Helium 10 extension, you could go to like review insights and you're gonna wait for it to load. So basically you're gonna filter out all the negative reviews, apply um, filter, and then you're gonna export the reviews. So you get the spreadsheets uh, once it's exported. And what I like to do is like, you know, look into uh, most common situations for any community uh, guideline violation. I think the first thing that you would probably want to filter for is probably anything that is related to shipping. So, um, so I'm going to uh, filter the reviews just on ship. So you can see here, the first one uh, right here, buy refer, this company is a third party company. If you return this item. So I think this is related to shipping, returns and shipping. So I think this is uh, something that you could report to the community guidelines moderator to um, report and potentially get it removed. So uh, again, uh, just send an email. So what I would do uh, in this case, um, as I just mentioned, you're gonna send an email uh, to this email address, um, you know, your contact information, the product detail page. So that would be the ASIN. Uh, the I would also send uh, the listing, the URL of the review here. And then I'm going to say what particular points that they're violating in the community guidelines. So that I would say that currently this review is uh, violating the seller order or shipping feedback point of the community guidelines. So I'll be really specific. And then a lot of times like within like two weeks, they would potentially remove the review. Yeah, of course, to just end this video off, there is never a foolproof way to remove all your negative reviews. To Amazon, the integrity of the reviews are of 
the most paramount importance to them. And if you are racking up more one stars than five star reviews, you shouldn't really be continuing selling the product in the first place. Remember, it requires around 10 five star reviews to mitigate one one star review. So for sellers with four stars, removing that one star review at the margins can make all the difference. Anyways, I really hope that uh, you enjoyed this video and I uh, hope that you can start removing negative reviews that are not compliant. Lastly, and if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business, please schedule a discovery call with me in the link below. And until the next video drop, happy selling.